Hello guys, welcome to the video. Today we're going to do some more Epic 7 Guild War content. So hopefully the fights go well. We don't necessarily lose all of our units for stupid reasons. And you know, it just is good, hopefully. So enjoy the video. And here we go. Welcome back to Guild War. Uh, we are against Alcadius Al today. I think it's called. I don't know. Uh, they are rank 60, we are rank 61, Pogcham. And we're doing okay. So, that's cool, I guess. But we're going to hit this tower first and see how bad it goes, and then we'll go from there. So, this team is full light. So, my solution to the problem is to throw a shoe at it, because why not? Throw Anna because I have a feeling that I'm going to get, like, dual attacked by this, um, Bellion a lot. Then Rowana will help with that. And Bad Cat Armin, because every time she activates Catchem, we get to smack them with shoe really hard, and then maybe win. And avoid some counters, which would be quite good. And the second team, I'm going to go with Crow because defense, and he's got his new equipment. I've got him that one, because I can't remember to look for too long for one, but ideally I want to get the horse, I think, so that when he kills stuff with it, he can, like, rotate his horse a bit faster. But to be honest, hard-provoking stuff isn't a bad thing either. I guess in this situation it sort of is, but I can just hard provoke the Mercedes if I need to. Uh, Amelia to push... Aria. Yeah, to get a turn as fast as possible. So she can get her counters off as quick as possible, and then Aria is to murder them. I was going to go with something a bit faster, like Flan Sigret, but I decided to go with this instead because I was scrolling down looking for a mage, saw Aria and was like, oh yeah, Aria exists, let's try that. So let's see how badly we get, like, murdered for running a full ice team versus a full fire team. Right, so we're faster than this. Uh, Bellion at least. That's gonna push Bad Cat back, but that's fine. Bye Cat. Throw this up. Probably get countered immediately. Lose all our HP. Cry. No? Okay. Don't taunt my thing. Thank you. It is a counter-attack version. Okay. That's fine. Stun's cringe, but that's fine. Hey, that's our first catch him. So the escort's going to be, like, real annoying uh, to deal with from... the front bitch but realistically it doesn't really i guess we go for her first because it doesn't really matter where we go here and if we can get rid of the escort fast then we'll be okay because it's not an injury bellion so we should be okay for the most part and the long we can force bellion to dual attack into us through um lilius the easier this fight's gonna be so, and we still get counter attacks from Shu, like constantly from everything else anywhere. So that wasn't a catch him, unfortunately. It's full. I should just skill two and up full focus. I just don't like doing it in case I get the yeah that. Okay, now she's dead. It's going to be a lot easier because they've got like no damage redirection, so everything else is just going to take damage now. It's still, like, real fucking cringe that this is taking this long. Like, I thought this was going to go a bit faster. Especially when they didn't have injury, but, like... It's like the barriers from her is a fucking part of the problem, and she not counter-attacking into the Bellion and just murdering her is, like, the other problem. There we go. Yeah, the, the only problem with that is that I didn't know that she was going to die there, so I couldn't, like wait a second to make a decent point to pause at. But, yeah, this has been, like, nine minutes so far. Of me just, like, well, about seven minutes of me wailing on this fucking defense. So. I'll have to cut that out by a lot. I mean, you'll be back by now, see so what well, you might have not seen any of the stuff that I just fucking was talking about, but, you know. Uh, TLDR, summons have been shit so far, if that didn't get put in the video. For the event. That's about the best I can give you. 
Hopefully this doesn't take another 10 minutes. Uh, let's push the... We don't really want to push the Ravi back, but we sort of do. Let's just push the Rasp back then, fuck it. If we can. Nah, resist. Because Aria does decent damage, so we should be okay, honestly. Chomp. Uh, attack that. Chomp. Yeah. That one took about a minute. Hooray. One fight down, two to go. Hopefully the next one doesn't take 10 minutes real time and maybe five minutes video time. Depending on how I cut that, because that's uh, a lot of stuff to cut, and you're all going to know that I'm doing it, or not doing it, because, yeah. Uh, yeah, whatever, I guess. Next tower. Here we go. So, we're going to try something weird. So, we're going to go double Selene Brow, which up top, because I believe it will work. The idea is that we have uh, Selene up here to tank the blue Luca, because she's not going to die to green Selene. And she should go for this and probably kill her, to be fair. We'll see. Like, I think she'll die to Selene, to be honest. But she's here just, like, this Selene's here just in case. Uh, and then we'll murder the Vildred with the same Selene because he can't revive because of Rare which is passive. And then we'll just go from there and hopefully it'll work. And if, like, it turns out that Selene wasn't necessary, then cringe. But if she doesn't die, uh, we can put her in counter stance and then leave her just sat there. Selene can kill Arby, she can kill Selene, and then we'll be fine, I guess. Uh, and the bottom team, we're going to go Ning Ning to push Milim because Milim is going to soul burn and kill Selene and then kill Selene. And I needed another, another mage and a light unit to bait the Ravi, so we brought in Sylvan Sage Vivian and we've given her the speed, uh, HP, whatever bullshit gear set. So yeah, she's not really well built, right? Like, I get it, but... She's here for the damage reduction, so we're just going to pray that it's good enough to keep her alive for long enough for us to do stuff, but I don't know if it will be, but we're just going to try, because that is my plan. And it's something slightly different. But yeah, she's going to victory post, I'm going to push forward, that pushes everybody forward, so I forgot about that. She's going to die, so I'm going to take another turn, and that's going to die. We could have also killed the rule here instead, but this is fine. Then we're going to throw this up anyway, because we can. Uh, she's going to dispel everything if I do this. So I guess I'll just, like, skill one. Fuck it. Oh, she's not going to dispel it. Okay. What she would have done. I guess if I'd have done more damage, she would have done. But I assumed if we were having a debuff, she'd have... Or if she'd have had a debuff, I assumed she'd have removed it. Oh, well, whatever. Do this, get the defense break on this instead. Okay, I don't. That works too. That's going to give her the revive, which is cringe. We now have to sit here for 10 minutes. This is where I should have saved the skill free, but... I start of assuming I get the defense break, I'll be honest. Is it so wrong of me to assume that I'd get a defense break? In a situation where I should probably get a defense break? So I don't think it is. Now I have to wait five minutes for the rule to take a turn. Fun and interactive gameplay. This is the most fun I've ever had playing this game. If you land the defense break again, I swear to god. Why couldn't you land that on the skill free when I fucking needed you to like three times ago? They should just kill because she's defense broken. This is so bad. There we go, 32k damage. Easy peasy. Right, so it was obviously going to be faster here. So we do this because it is combat. Yeah, attacks all enemies. 
That means Celine can't counter me. Then use this to push back Spirit Eye. We don't need to push back Spirit Eye to be fair, but we might as well. Then Soul Burn this, hit Celine. Can't kill because of passive, but it's fine. Soul Burn again, kill Celine. Then skill free this because we've got attack buff and it's good damage and she's dead and can't come back to life. I know if I probably is going to hit my thing and do no damage because 70% damage reduction. Yep. And then we just like wail on the Ravi until we eventually win. Though there is like a real chance that we don't win this. Uh oh. That is a very real chance that we lose this because it's an Apoch Ravi that I'm not mitigating damage off of like at all. So we're more likely to lose than win. But... I didn't really have a good way to bring, like, anything into this to allow me to clear it a bit easier, unfortunately. So, this is where we're at right now. Push her back, give Millie more attack. I wish you'd stop fucking countering specifically Ning Ning, though. Okay, I mean. I wish you'd just keep specifically countering Ning Ning, though. And nothing else. Yeah, I don't think this is winnable unless I can, like, stun lock this fucking stupid thing. So I can at least, like, not get, uh, cooked by counterattacks. One of the main issues is that we are in a real fucking annoying stalemate with... Um, like, if she wasn't this fast, we'd have been alright, because we wouldn't be pushing the Ravi again here. Oh, wait, we're not yet. Ah, if we'd have pushed her back there, that would have been better. Because she can't heal anymore now. So we might be alright. We managed to loop enough. Then we soul burn this again for another stun. I don't even know what she's on, because she can't be on Anchor or Crimson Seed, because they've not been nerfed yet. And she's not on Proof of Valor, because if she was on Proof of Valor, it'd activated by now. So I have, like, genuinely no idea what artifact she's on. I want Durandal. And it wants Sigurd, because I didn't see that pop up either. Unless it was, and I didn't see it. But, oh well, whatever. Two fights down, one to go. That was a bit more annoying than it needed to be, but at least it passed, and that's all we care about. So, yeah. On to the last tower. Final fight. We are going to hit this tower, and it's going to take a while, I think, for the top team to do stuff, but we're going to do it anyway because I hate life, I guess. Um, so we're going to run Rowana again. We're going to run Hassel again, and we're going to run Lionheart Samia again because it is the team that we run this type of stuff against and win most of the time. So we'll see how bad it goes, but it should be fine. Uh, and the bottom team, we're going to try something a bit different in a way. Like, it's the same, but it's different because we're not using Watch Your Shuri for a change. But we're going to run Flan, we're going to run Opsig, and we're going to run Zahak. And the idea is going to be the same as it always is. Except Zahak is here to kill the Violet because I don't trust Opsig to hit him with skill 2 or skill 3, even with the thing. And if she hits him with skill 3, then he's fucking dead anyway. So, like, who cares at that point, right? So. Let's go. First fight's going to be long and boring. It might get skipped if it goes on for 10 minutes, but I don't think it'll go on much longer than 5. So it might just get left in. Uh, we'll see that. I mean, to be fair, it could end in like 5 seconds. In all honesty. Because I could just get really badly cooked by RNG, so... So ML5 is back to back, Pogcham. Welcome to the Shadow Realm. You are, you are now going to be banned from my chat forever. That's a joke, by the way. 
Rosario and Dark Harvest. One of those is better than the other. We are not healing a lot here, are we? That Carvus is... Yeah, I mean, Briseri being a dupe is fine, though, because that's coins towards the coin shop, which is quite nice. Uh, Alright, so a greater attack, Senya. That's why she's fucking hurting real bad. We might lose this just because it's an actual attack, Senya. Dark Carvers, unfortunately, is like sort of falling off a little bit now, so it's like not as nice of a. Oh, she's dead, it's fine. Sort of. He's not as nice of a pull as he would have been not too long ago. But. Proof of Valor Rat? Really? You're making me go through more work than I need to? Uh, realistically, we should smack the rat and try and get rid of her, but I also want to make sure that she's fucking dead, but she's probably going to die. Actually, yeah, she's going to die to the other thing, so I'll just do this for more damage on the rat. Because it's still do, like, good damage here, and then, like, pop the extra, and we're going to get healed from rat anyway, so... Okay, I didn't pop for the extra, but... Was that a heal proc, or... No? Okay. Well, it might have been, but... Um, it's hard to say. Like, currently it'd be Crimson Seed or Timeless Anchor. But, like I said, Dark Corvus is, like, about to fall off pretty much because Dark, uh, Crimson Seed and Timeless Anchor are both being nerfed. So, in, like, a couple of weeks. So, it's going to be a, a bit of a problem soon for him. But if not either of those, then I'd probably say... I guess Durandal, maybe? Or something that lets him be tanky? Or potentially... What's it called? She doesn't have, um... Aureus. Interesting. Did that miss absorb? No, it actually hit. Okay. Uh... I can't think what it's called. Strat Gauntlet for resistance, if I didn't say that already. Might be a, a good one to also give thought to. Okay, this is easier than I expected. I'm surprised you don't have Arius, but I don't know what she has. Honestly. Can't even begin to think what she has. But yeah, that is all for Guild War. So, nice easy one today, pretty much. Like, the fights took a while for a couple of them, but this one was fairly quick, so that wasn't too bad. Uh, but yeah, thanks for watching the video. Hope you enjoyed. We'll be back on Wednesday for the Wednesday Guild War. So until then, have a good week, and I shall see you on Wednesday.